Hello, welcome. Today is February 7, 2024, and I'm here to do our monthly check-in for a lovely zodiac sign. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring hell and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pull uh, for my lovely bowl here and see who is the person uh, that I'll be reading for for today. So let's see. All right. And today we have... Aries. So let's go ahead and do you. All right. Sperry, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to the person who is connected to Aries in love? What can you reveal to me about the person who is connected to the sign of Aries? What is the energy and vibe of the person connected to Aries in love? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have anxiety. And I'm not going to lie. I was actually feeling that. Um, but I wanted to, you know, just like pull the cards. Um, so, I mean, here it is. We have stress, depression, panic attacks, and restless. Also, we have addiction, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. And finally, we have home. Okay, comfort, safety, belonging, and shelter. And finally, we have heartbreak. Wow. Hurt, betrayal, grief, and disappointment. So Aries, okay, I have a feeling that you are dealing with a particular person who is stressed. Uh, they could be depressed. Uh, they could be staying at home, uh, like maybe intoxicating themselves or um, just really, you know, have like a, like a negative vice that they're attached to. You know, because of the heartbreak, this is what I'm hearing. For some, there is a particular person who is absolutely in love with you and they're not with you at this time. And um, they are depressed, okay? Um, they're, they are obsessed with you. However, um, I have a feeling like this particular person is not with you. Um, maybe for some, uh, this person is in another relationship. Uh, that is the reason why that um, they're heartbroken because they can't be with you at this time. And it's not really a matter of, of can't. It's like, um, does this person have enough within them uh, to make an offer towards you? Now, as I'm saying this, I really feel short-winded, like I'm out of breath, and it's so strange. <sighs> I don't know. Whatever that they're doing is like giving me a headache. So I don't know if this is smoking or just drinking alcohol. Um, I mean, there's drugs here. So if someone's using painkillers to soothe the pain, whatever this thing is, okay? Um, you know, and, and I felt that like coming into the reading... So let, let's go ahead and see what else is going on with this person. Spirit, can you tell me more about this person's energy when it comes to Aries? How do they currently think of you? How do they feel? What is it that they want? Um, what is the outcome? What is the energy and vibe of the person who is connected to Aries? 
and love. And Spirit, can you tell me a little bit more about how Aries thinks and feels towards this person? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so maybe for some it's been about three years, okay, where this person has been in separation with you. Okay, it doesn't have to be, but I just feel like um, they really haven't put much effort into making their approach. Um, they really do feel alone, and they're afraid of uh, coming forward towards you. So again, okay, this could be a part of their this person's depression. They just don't know what to do, okay? Um, they feel like a failure. They feel like, um, you know, would you take them back? Like, I'm not going to lie, I have a feeling like that there's a lot that's going on in this person's head. Like, they're so lost in their uh, depression, they can't shake out of it, okay? And I really feel like it's because of the drugs and alcohol that this person is abusing um, to make them stay stuck in that state of mind, okay? So it's like they're kind of losing themselves into the substance or into a way of thinking. Because I really feel like it's like, um, I'm not saying they enjoy the pain, but it's like uh, they're so used to like this energy that it just feels safer to to be like that. Okay. So they're afraid of making their approach towards you because you seem to be very stable. This is you, the emperor. Um, they, uh, for some, they feel like maybe you turn uh, your back away from this particular person. You seem to have like all your stuff together and this person does not, okay? Um, that's why they're holding themselves back from contacting you again. So I keep getting resistance, resisting to contact you, to reach out to you, feeling like they're not good enough, um, you know, really feeling depressed. They're really clear that they need to sober up, okay? So if this person is like a, a functional alcoholic or... Uh, um, Let's say that they know like they, they drink every day, especially when they come home from work. Um, they know that they need to realign their values, okay? Um, the thing about them is that they know they made the wrong decision for whatever that means uh, towards you. Uh, maybe for some, you guys have had some sort of argument. Um, but the love was always there, okay? So this is like that crazy love, right? Um, it's like you guys cannot figure out what this love is. It's, it's always been like this romantic um, attraction uh, that you guys have towards one another. But this person is holding themselves back because they don't want to repeat the same mistake over and over again. And they keep uh, rehashing the past and they feel stuck. So again, um, I have a feeling like whoever this person is, they come in and out of your life. Um, and whatever has happened in the past, like they don't want to do the same thing again because it didn't work. So a part of them is afraid of reapproaching you because um, this isn't the first time. Maybe it's because uh, there was a karmic person here and the karmic found out about the two of you. Okay, so uh, they could be branded as a cheater, as a liar, and that's for some. Uh, maybe this person treated you cruelly by cutting you off. Okay, maybe they cut you off because the karmic uh, knew about the situation, and that's for some. So they really don't know if they can approach you, especially if they're still in a marital situation. Okay, but I, I see that there's a lot that's going on, and um, they had to let you go. Okay, so I, I have a feeling like there's a particular person who has already let this situation go, but the love is still there. Um, they're not happy, clearly. Okay, they're at home, uh, self soothing, drinking, you know, or smoking or whatever it is that they're doing. And they want to communicate to you. Okay, um, they want to tell you that them and the other half that they're with um they're talking about separation divorce maybe this is about like what happened between the two of you and why you guys have been in separation so this person could be um 
you know, someone who values uh, tradition. Okay. Again, uh, this could be a marriage. They, they could be in another marital situation. But if that's the case, I feel like it, this is about breaking up with a past person. Okay. And talking about their commitments. Okay. And this is possibly with you. For some, you're dealing with the Taurus energy here. They want to confess uh, the truth that they regret turning you away. Okay. Like, I keep getting like a lot of regret. So, I mean, if this is you, Aries, that, the, you know, you're the person who regrets like uh, running away from this individual, you know, and going in a different direction. So take it as it resonates. But this is what I'm seeing here. This person is confessing that um, they regret leaving you. So now uh, they're coming up with some sort of idea to communicate that they're willing to let go of the past and really work on uh, themselves. So this is like, you know, working uh, on their job, working on themselves. This is like a financial in in independence so they can have a new opportunity to open up and travel. So this is actually kind of good. And um, and if this sounds like your situation so far, there is a past person who's willing to clean up their act um, so that they can re re rework things with you. Okay, let's see what else. I have a feeling whoever this is, they haven't done it in the past couple of years, up to three years. Okay, so let's see. So, yeah, so maybe for some you're done with the Gemini energy, but regardless, um, there is an opportunity for this person to come back and uh, put closure towards uh, like a situation. So if it was open ended between you and them and let's just say you never got closure, um, this person wants to resolve whatever has happened. OK, now for you, what I'm saying is that you don't feel very balanced. OK, like for the past couple of years, you know, you've. You've tried to like manage and maintain like um, yourself. Um, so you don't really know where you stand with them. But I see that you you love them. You're supportive of them, even though that they came off as being rude. OK, uh, maybe they said a few uh, choice words. However, um, I see that this person is trying to heal from their past and accepting that what they did or said uh, wasn't right. And um, they would like to let go of, you know, um, any any kind of situation that isn't really serving their highest and greatest good. So you could, uh, they feel like they, they want to confess to you about what has happened, okay? They understand that they left things um, in a certain way. But I, I really see that you have compassion, you have love for this person. So um, again, you know, I'm not trying to stick up for this other person, but I feel like um, they should have uh, left things uh, a little bit better. Okay. So again, um, they're trying to overcome their obstacles because there is a karmic who is uh, kind of jealous of them, maybe wanting to leave them, maybe for you. Okay. Um, you really don't feel like this person wants to be with you because this karmic is always in the way. Um, because also what I'm seeing is that the karmic is currently causing them trouble to, for them to move on with their life. Um, so your person is trying to get over that. That is their karma that they need to work out with the other person. Um, so you really can't see what the heck is going on. I would say, you know, just kind of let things ride and see what happens. Right. Um, because I feel like now your person is wanting to change. Like they've been stagnant for a long time. So in the outcome, you will receive an offer from this person for a brand new beginning. Okay, so this is actually really positive. Um, you know, they understand that um, they didn't put much effort before in the past. Um, and uh, they were not really... 100% for you. However, I see that this person has an opportunity to make their wrongs right. Okay. Now for you, you feel like this is a problem because um, even though that this person is trying to give you like, uh, like an incentive, right? Like an incentive to stay or like an actual proposal of some sort. 
um, you really feel like I, I really feel like you know you're just being um, very uh, methodical in your thinking, kind of like you know like you see here like the game of chess. So you're like this is this is in the first time there is this karmic person that your person is dealing with at this time. Okay, so how the heck are they going to make this offer towards you? Um, that's why you feel like, okay, uh, seeing is believing, right? Um, you don't really feel like this person has what it takes to give you this pentacle. So, yeah, so I see that whoever that they're dealing with, um, they're, I mean, if they're going to go to court, they're going to take them for everything that they have. Okay, um. So I definitely see that if they're going through a divorce, they're going to lose a lot, like financially, to the other person. And I, I feel like that they're willing to do it because they're not happy. What else do they have left to, to lose? And you're, you don't know what to do. Okay. Um, so for your lover over here, they lost their sense of control. For some, you know, maybe, you know, I see it here, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, maybe for some, this person does have kids or they have children. Uh, maybe uh, they're uh, like a business owner. You want, you want happiness. You want a family with this person. I see that this person is ready to come walk towards you. Okay, like they want to nurture the relationship with you. Um, they want to take care of you. They want to offer you a family, you know, or if it's not like a family, um, they want to get together with you. It's like a faded situation. But they don't know what to do because they, they still have some stuff to do with the karmic. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Um so th they finally free themselves and they will be successful okay they have to isolate themselves so um you know this may take a little bit of time but you're gonna see that there's an opportunity for you to approach them so it's like a quick little check-in with this person um especially if you haven't seen this person for some time okay i'm getting like three years you haven't really talked to them okay this, you're gonna hear from someone of your past um, and you're going to hear that they're finally um, wanting to get out of the situation. For some, they haven't started the process, but they're talking about it. Um, and I, I see that they are working their way towards you. Okay. For some, they've already started the process. They've been a little bit depressed. They've been drinking at home. Um, but they know that they need to stop. So um, I, I just feel like that your person's going through a moment right now. Okay, so that's what I have. So let's see what else. Spirit, what message wants to come through from this person who is connected to Aries? What message wants to come through? What is it that they want to say? What is the message that your person wants to say towards you at this time? What's the message that wants to come through spirit? <laughs> so we have eight ascending. We have a special purpose, my love. So I really feel like for some, this is your twin flame. Okay. You, there's a, a portal or a gateway for you guys to connect with one another. If you've been having telepathic uh, conversations with them, especially if you haven't heard from them, uh, just know that they're talking to you through uh, telepathy. 
Okay. Um, they know that you have a special purpose with one another. Uh, it's not over yet. Okay. This person is finally uh, ready to uh, move on, you know, from their current situation, their physical situation, so they can bring like this thought to reality. Okay. That's what I have. So um, let's go ahead and see what is the guidance uh, message that Spirit has for you. Spirit, what is uh, the guidance that you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? What is uh, the guidance? Guidance message, please, Spirit. Yeah, look at this. Surrender to your intuition. Tune in to your inner voice and be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, and aha moments that come through and guide you. Like I said, if you have, I feel like these are from my Aries who you have not spoken to your person for some time. And um, follow your gut instinct when it comes to this person. This person is wanting to make their way back. Okay, that's what I see. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, uh, the link is in the description box below. Um, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. <music>